This is also not a bad angle. Holy sh**. <laughs> yeah, you, you never want, you basically ne like you never want to turn your back to an angle. The way you want to yeah. go back from this angle, any backwards. angle for that for that matter, just walk backwards with your gun, yeah. gun out. Okay. Like what is in front of your crosshair is the only place, or I mean the position that you're holding is the only place that shots can come from or the enemy can come from. So don't take your eyes off it, you know. Right. There, there cannot be anyone like yet uh, on the side, on the timing. So, like. <laughs> Hi, I'm Xbox Lasagna, a gamer who's trying to figure out how to get good at Counter-Strike. I've tried all sorts of things in my quest to improve as a player, and now I'm trying coaching. In this video, my coach Pianix and I review a CT side demo on Vertigo where I played on both sites, so there should be something in here for everyone. This video is part of an ongoing series, so please subscribe for more coaching content. Enjoy the video. Guys, yeah, CT side. Uh, when I'm watching it like the sims, the aim is not like very calm. Like you're shooting a lot yes. too quickly. Like even before on T side on mid, mm. even on like. Do you have the workshop maps in CS2? Uh, I have the like refrag. It's like the aimbots map. Yeah, that's good enough. You should yeah. be practicing in CS2. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you do it in CS2 or in CS2, but I would recommend in CS2. I yeah. just really dial in on uh, on the moving targets on that refrag map and uh, try to do a movement and then kill the moving target calmly and not miss, uh, not, uh, yeah, not miss. Gotcha. Basically, because uh, that's going to transition later on in you not missing on the on the targets and being calmer in the game. Yes. You just, you just need to practice calm killing of people that are moving because you're just starting to shoot and then you're messing your, your spray yeah. later on. It's definitely something I I can see as a big weakness right now. Yeah, the smoke works the same, I believe. Mm. The flash is fine. Although you need to notice that you're actually flashing for nobody. Yeah, I remember I was like, go peek ramp. And I wasn't looking at the uh, mini map. He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> the, the thing is, in parks, right? Mm. You either have to have like... Uh, you either have to think like this, I'm gonna throw the smoke and the flashes and hopefully no one pushes through the smoke and I can go there myself and then hold it. Mm. Or I'm not gonna throw the smoke and I'm not gonna use my util because no one's coming there. Right. So either th this or that, you know? Fair enough. So so you can't just think like, oh, I'm gonna randomly I'm gonna randomly just throw the util. You need to think like, yeah, I'm gonna throw the util. I know that nobody's going there from my teammates, but hopefully nobody from the T's pushes through the smoke and I can go and hold it. Right. But, but you shouldn't be like, oh, go push, guys, go. Like, no, like, you can say, like, I can I can smoke ramp and flash for you if they want it. And then if they don't respond, you either don't do it or do it and bang on the fact that they're not going to push through and that's it. it the, 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 my point is you don't want to be one forcing your teammates in the park to do something that right. they don't even know how to do or they don't yeah. understand. Uh, here, pushing, probably good idea because you don't have any information. It's like 3v... 3v4 and you guys don't know what's up on the map, but I think the way you you walked out into this angle, it's like you walked yep. into this angle, and you keep walking into angles, you just keep walking into angles, that, that, that's the issue here. Is this gonna flash like yellow as well or no? Only ramp. I think it's gonna blend on the ramp. I don't know, I thought it would get both, but... <laughs> Not sure what the... You have an MP9, Molotov and Flash. Don't you think throwing that Molly like kind of towards Heaven and blocking them off Heaven would be like better idea than just picking with Flash? <laughs> like you're picking yeah. so wide into yeah. so many people, there's no chance with MP9 you're like killing people here. Right. And you're playing kind of retake, right? Yep. Um, your, your teammates are fighting on B. I mean, this is okay, but don't you think you want to be, like, <coughs> actually picking the angles right now? Like, helping your teammates electric? Uh, yeah, like, uh, I guess. Yes. I mean, I would, if I were you, I would just pick the angles. Like, honestly. Mm. Like, why would I be throwing util when my teammates is about to die? I, I understand this util, this, like, good retake util, but you want to be throwing it as a retake, not as a help to the, for the guy. I see. 
I, I would rather like just peek, especially that he has like a Nova, no, no, not a Nova, and the shotgun. Exam. Like, he's not, he's not gonna get these kills easily. Yeah. He needs help. I just flashed probably. And blinded him. <laughs> not, not something you wanna be throwing. Yeah. Yeah, let's try. Not much we could do here. Wait, did you have the best spawn here? Or no? No, you have like kind of shit spawn. You're going for. You never want to go through heaven, by the way. This is a shit angle. Like, you don't wanna be in that, like, early. Uh, okay. Basically, basically, that the reason you don't want to be there, like, is you don't hear steps and like, right. oh, yeah, they're not true. gonna be they're not gonna be there that quick. Right. I didn't think about not being I mean, able to hear. Okay, this is nice. I just want more confidence, bro. When you're peeking, like you're peeking and seeing a guy instantly shooting and then hiding. Like you can actually peek in and out, and they don't expect you that much there. You know, especially that they didn't see anyone else on the side. Okay. Do you know the lineup or? Uh, I guess we'll see. <laughs> I think yeah, you know. Sorry, it. I should have thrown the molly first. Yeah, you should have. I was w I was waiting for the plant sound to throw the he, but I should have thrown the molly before they planted. I mean, this is this is generally like too fast from you. Like it's five yeah. four, and you're jumping on top of headshot, which is a very easy angle to kill. And uh, I can see why you're jumping on top of. Uh, Top of this headshot. I saw a pattern where on T side you have not been expecting a guy on top of the smoke on, on uh, top of headshot. <laughs> yeah. And the same way you probably think it's very unexpected that you go here, but it's not actually. Yeah. It's very obvious. So as as on T side you should be expecting someone on as a CT to jump on top of here. Right. Now on CT side you should know that this is to be expected. Right. If that makes sense. Okay, you start the round on B. Mm-hmm. You throw the nades, that's okay, that's completely fine. Now you, your teammate is fighting and you're holding a util in your hand, which is probably not the best idea. If you see him like fighting, yeah. like again, you want to take out your gun and try to help him or Definitely. trade him. You do the molly, which is fine here. You keep holding again when your teammate is fully swinging that corner. So, you know, like basically be more aware where your teammate yes. is and what he's holding. And now you guys are free at B and one at A. The guy A is rotating back. You're doing this smoke, which I assume is not bad. And now you're gonna walk here on CT. So, I mean, you, you're expecting someone to be already on A, right? Yeah, like if they have a lurk or... I mean, cool. Yeah, you, you can, that's, that's normal. This is also not a bad angle. Holy shit. But, <laughs> yeah, you, you never want, you basically never, like you never want to turn your back to an angle. The way you want to yeah. go back from this angle, any backwards. angle for that for that matter, just walk backwards with your gun, yeah. gun out. Okay. Like what is in front of your crosshair is the only place, or I mean the position that you're holding is the only place that shots can come from or the enemy can come from. So don't take your eyes off it, you know. Right. There, there cannot be anyone like yet uh, on the side, on the timing. So, like, <laughs> yeah. Smoke is fine. I think I peek. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I'm so surprised they don't expect you here. <laughs> like, how they don't expect the yellow? Like, why? Why are they like this in yellow? Like, is this normal? People don't expect yellow here. I guess. I mean, maybe it's just like we haven't we haven't had any duels all half in yellow, so maybe they just weren't thinking. Well, I mean, yeah, if that's how it goes, like, go peek at every single round. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> okay, no oh, no, bro. Uh, wait, what Don't do you have? Molly and Flash. <laughs> well, again, you get a kill on an aggro position, just dump your util, you know? Try to mm. get out with the util. Well, what if like, I this is This is fucking two. insane that... <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. You get another kill here. Oh, the way you run. Uh, yeah. Just so I get the kill playtime. and then just dump my molly. Yeah, dump your molly, Makes dump sense. your flash. Try, okay. Try to get out with the util, you know. Yeah. Like right now, instead of running, just molly. Just 
doesn't matter where. It's for the distraction, throw the flash like randomly off yeah. the wall and just try to get out with your util because it's gonna help you get out. Like better players will kill you here like every single time. Yeah. And, and, That's and crazy. the util just gives you <laughs> slightly more distraction. You can play it around the, the molly, you know? Maybe the molly will like distract their vision a bit. I just sit in this until it expires. That's okay. Well, you're not gonna check sandbags, right? I mean, I wouldn't check it. Oh! <laughs> okay, this is nice shots. Bro, I've never seen an overtime game yet in this game. Yeah, this was my first one. Is... Back to B. This is good. Yeah, you're running around the map all the time. <laughs> like, why are you pressing AD again when you're holding the angle? I, <laughs> I, uh, I've been doing it less. I do have to say, I've been doing it less. Like, look, here. Let's slow it down. Did you see? Yep. Why? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know. <laughs> and again? You holding this angle? What is this? Why can't you just post up on this <laughs> angle for a moment? Again. Like... Yeah. Okay, why? This is a very good angle, by the way, around the smoke. Why can't you just post up here and stand here? You have to be moving, <laughs> and you're dead because you are moving. If you just posted up on the angle, you would have gotten this kill, I believe. Yeah. Or at least you would have a better chance. Definitely. But you're moving into him. You're not ready to shoot, you know. Yeah. I love how fast it loads. Bro. It's so. It's. It's the best. Clean. It's so great. <laughs> When it comes to MP9 and CT, which you've been playing like a lot, uh, I just want to show you like a couple of plays you can do. Great. So when you have a good spawn, you can literally just run down ramp here. So you can do that. Running here. Jumping around like that. Throwing a flash. Jumping across ramp. Boom. <laughs> oh shit, and then, okay. <laughs> and then ramming up. This is like a leash play, you know, because you're blinding people that are running up and you're mm -hmm. jumping across the angle. So if anybody's calling like this, you're jumping across his like, Oh, cross okay. Up. Very cool. <clears throat> this is generally coupled with the smoke. Wait, I don't know if this lineup still works. Uh, no. There is no dot on the wall anymore. Wait, maybe like here? Is this supposed to go like... This is supposed to go deeper. Deeper. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, this is the lineup I use personally because I can line it up like from here. And Wait, I don't need so to... what do you? This dot and now like above the dot. Oh. Towards here. Okay. And I would run. So I can like I don't need to find like exact spot. I can like instantly throw it. You know, you generally want a couple of this with this smoke. I mean, these are the flashes I've been throwing in CS:GO always. So that'll get both. Popping. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's better. Like, look, it doesn't look like this. It's hopefully it does. I've noticed that the trails end like a little bit before the flash actually pops. Yeah. So this flash will blind both, so I recommend this one. Uh, I've seen you. Yeah, with MP9, by the way, you can also like push mid. Like, I like to do this play. When I have spawned for mid, like you can just literally run up, and before you could like smoke here in the corner. Wait, it doesn't work anymore. Oh, would it like go doesn't through go the wall? From... Yeah, it doesn't go through <laughs> anymore. So I would assume you can just like run up and peek literally without anything, honestly. Okay. Like if you have good spawn, just don't be afraid to do this play. Or you can bounce a flash, like right click. I don't see... Yeah, you can just right click a flash here. So you just run like this, right click a flash and oh. just peek. And cool. that's what they're gonna see. 
Because this is the, the timing you meet them on the corner, and just like as you got fucked by the Zeus guy. Yes, okay. And uh, whenever you wanna push B, I saw Zywood do this play on CSGO a lot. You, you bounce the flash. And you instantly they jump down, you know? Oh, very cool. Like, th okay. th th this, this flash is not gonna catch people of guard who are like here. Actually, let me think of maybe like. I mean. Huh. Yeah, this would be probably That's cool. better when you're okay. jumping down. This is a very common flash, by the way, like here in this in this corner. I like like it. just dropping here whenever people are like rushing up, you know, you just land them. So you can do that. Uh, just do this. Try to push them down. You can as well like bounce a flash off here. I don't know if you knew. Well, I did not. That's nice. Yeah. People are like, already up. You you can do that early. Like you probably want to do it slightly lower. So it actually blinds people who are, yeah, it, it should blind them if they're like coming up. Cool. You can you can do this play. The, the things you were doing before were were very fine, like just throwing, bouncing a nade and then like peeking into it. When you played like Ivy, mm -hmm. right, you played like here. I saw you didn't like bounce nades off this like thing at all. It's very good. Like, okay. Like, Okay, so like if, if you, you can bounce it off that off left people. thing, it'll go down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just bounce cool. it off this. You can even smoke here. And give yourself, like, an angle towards ramp. Nice. You should be peeking, like, ramp when you have spawn. Okay. When you have spawn, like, you should be doing this. Just running up. And peeking with an M4 like this. Okay. And then like playing on an angle like this and sometimes checking. No? Cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, apart from this, uh, this is pretty much all the things I wanted to mention. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed this two-parter on Vertigo. I feel like it was pretty comprehensive. We went over a ton of stuff. I feel like a major theme that keeps popping up with the stuff we're reviewing and the mistakes I'm making has to do with patience. Like, I need to do everything, be everywhere at once, and I think that probably stems from a untreated attention disorder, but also, I guess, like a fundamental lack of confidence in what I should be doing at any time, so, so hopefully as I learn more about the game and how it should be played, that should be alleviated somewhat. Maybe. Quick reminder that I do stream occasionally on Twitch if you want to come hang out with me and watch me suffer. Hope to see you there, and a little sneak peek for the next video, we're going to be back talking about Inferno. I actually just ask Phoenix questions for like an hour straight on how to play Inferno because the games have been going really, really poorly for me in Premiere, and I want to fix it. I want to be a good Inferno player. So we'll see you for the next one.